One frequently asked question that patients get from their OB providers and from people in the hospital when they come to deliver their baby is, do you know your blood type? It's very important for several reasons. Of course, if we ended up having to give you blood, we want to make sure that we're giving you the right kind and we always draw a sample so that we can match blood that you might get to that and make sure that you're, it's going to be compatible with your body. But another very important reason is that when it comes to pregnancy, if a mother is RH negative, meaning that she has a negative blood type and she has a baby that is RH positive or has a positive blood type, if she doesn't receive a ROGAM shot during pregnancy, usually sometime around 28 weeks, and then again after delivery, if it is confirmed that her baby has positive blood, then her body can build up antibodies to that certain blood type. And if she gets pregnant again with another fetus that's um, RH positive, then her body will fight against that. And it can cause miscarriage and it can cause fetal anemia and many other complications. Another time that Rogam is given is if at any time during the pregnancy you were in a car accident or you had any trauma or um, vaginal bleeding. The doctor would also want to give you Rogam at that point because there's a chance that fetal and maternal blood have mixed which could cause the sensitization if you don't get the Rogam shot. So getting a Rogam shot is very important. Again, your doctor will draw your blood, determine your blood type, and if you are negative, follow up with you sometime around 28 weeks of pregnancy. Um, at this point, they'll need you to go to the lab and they'll draw your blood again. And based on that, they'll um, mix up some Rogam. It's a shot that's given in your butt cheek and it's not comfortable, but it is very important for you to get because it helps to prevent complications down the road. If you have more specific questions about it as it applies to you, don't hesitate to talk with your OB provider. Good luck with everything, and if you have more questions in the future for me, please feel free to ask them on our Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash Intermountain Moms and recommend us to your friends and family too.